out of here! Run, 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 run. Welcome back everybody. I hope you enjoyed that intro. Today we'll be taking a look at a frauditor by the name of Film the Police LA. And in today's video, he was confronting a politician that he doesn't like, the city attorney. And he had some valid criticism. I'm not saying that he's wrong because he's talking about an article about the LA Times. And I did read the article and it turns out that it's possible that woman has done some serious mistakes. But the way he went about it was in total frauditor fashion. And then he triggered this other politician into having a total mental breakdown. I don't think it made him look very good, but this is one of the funniest videos I've seen in a while. Pretty much everybody's wrong in this case. But before we get to that, let me thank the sponsor of today's video, Aura. Let me ask you a question. Do you value all your money and your assets? If the answer is yes, you may want to pay attention to this. This year, identity theft and cyber attacks are on the rise. AT&T had 65 million records leaked. Dell, 49 million. Bank of America, 57,000. MoveIt, which is a huge data transfer company, had 77 millions record leaked. Recently, the LA Times had an article about how every single social security number has been compromised and is already on the dark web. Your info is already out there, just waiting to be used by hackers with nefarious purposes. Now, you might ask yourself, well, how do I protect myself moving forward? Well, the LA Times was even recommending a service that monitors the dark web on your behalf. And that is why you need Aura. Aura monitors your credit for any suspicious activities. And on top of that, they scan the deep web and the clear web for any mention of your personal information and sends removal requests to take it down. Now, there's no excuse to skip on Aura because on top of being only 12 bucks a month, they are offering you a two weeks free trial if you click on my link available in in the pinned comment and in the description. So don't wait any longer and try out Aura today. Now let's get back to the video. That even the LAPD was bothered by it. The LAPD was bothered by it and your own prosecutors were bothered by it in office, including Scoggins, who is now suing you. Scoggins, your own prosecutor is suing you. So do you want to explain why you were targeting Richie, Richie Sergianco for political reasons? That's what your own office says. That's what the LAPD said. The LAPD said they were bothered by what you're doing. The LAPD says they're bothered by the way you're using your office. On top of it, the LA Times article says that you guys are drunk. Say you're drunk in office. Why are you drinking at work, Heidi? Heidi, why are you drinking at work? And did you apologize to Ben Camacho for the $300,000 you have cost us with that ridiculous lawsuit? Because of that, you got an anti-slap and you had to settle for $300,000 over the picture release. Any excuse for that, Heidi? Do you have anything? Do you have anything to say to Richard Sargianco? Aren't you embarrassed? Your own office has turned against you. They said that you're drunk. They said you're drunk in office, Heidi. Nothing, nothing, like that, nothing, I you have nothing. Just more bizarre behavior like was in your, in your divorce deposition. That's what your ex said, said you have bizarre behavior. And you're banned from Citibank. Why are you banned from Citibank? You're a city prosecutor, a city attorney that's banned from Citibank. On top of that, you defend a child predator. No, I'm not. No, you defend a child predator. There's a child predator that you refuse to that you refuse to prosecute. Why are you defending a child predator, Heidi? And what about Henry Marino? Why are you defending the Church of Scientology and trying to prosecute him? Why are you trying to prosecute Henry Marino on behalf of the Church of Scientology? Nothing, Heidi. Nothing. The LA Times has come out and said your own your own office is suing you because of your corruption. Because of your corruption, Heidi. Your corruption. And shame on you people running interference for her. She is corrupt. 
She has no business in that position. She's using a legal system as a weapon against her critics. The way that you have needless, needlessly tried to prosecute Richie Sergianko. Why? Why? Shame on you, Heidi. I'm going to be here until you leave. You're going to get no space. Nothing. Stop using your office as a weapon, Heidi. So this guy really doesn't like Heidi. And I looked into it. Basically, what the LA Times is alleging is that she recommended a suspect for an investigation. And that suspect happens to be one of her biggest critic. It looks like she went out of her role and she did something wrong. Should she be fired? I don't know. That's not for me to decide. But one thing's for sure. If he has an issue with this woman he should use other avenue. Maybe he can do a petition. He can go to council meetings. But just following her in public like that and yelling like a maniac isn't going to accomplish anything. But let's keep watching. And why are you th th protecting Anthony Diamato, the child predator? The guy has a restraining order against him and your office refuses to do anything as this guy talks about raping a child and raping the mother. You guys do nothing, nothing. But on behalf of the Church of Scientology, you'll go and prosecute Henry Marino, right? Marino. And because of your, and on behalf of APAC, and that's what it's about. You're trying to, pro you tried to prosecute Richie Sergianko on behalf of APEC. Why? The LAPD told you to stop and you continue doing it. Your own office told you to stop and you continue doing it. You are so corrupt. And so while you're here, you're going to make a speech. I'm the disrupted. She gets no space while I'm here. Nothing. ID, can I ask you about No, she's corrupt. I don't care. I'm gonna throw, if you guys, if you don't want to address her corruption, then that's on you. This lady right here is trying to prosecute my friends. Why? For political means. And then she's protecting a child predator. So no, you can ask me to stop. I'm not stopping. Goodbye. Heidi, you get no space. You come out in public. This is what's going to be every time. Every time. You guys want to defend a corrupt person, your little bodyguards? I know this guy. This guy used to. I seen you defending Chief Moore. I seen you walking out in Chief Moore at the Pride Parade. This is more tax dollars wasted. Why to try to stop her from answering the questions? Her corrupt ass, this troll. So you get nothing. You get fouled around until you leave. You show your face in public, and this is what it's going to be. If you don't answer, I'm going to come to your neighborhood. I'm going to post posters in your neighborhood about how corrupt you are. And you know what the LAPD LAP is going to do? Nothing. Because there's nothing they can do. You are corrupt. Your own office says you're corrupt. Your own office. And on top of it, her ex, like I said, this lady right here, she's a city attorney. She is banned from Citibank. You know how shameful that is? Why is she banned from Citibank? Why? And like I said, her ex says she exhibits bizarre behavior. We see it. The LA Times says you guys are drunk in your office all day long. So you want to hide, you want to do this corruption, you come out in public, you're going to get confronted every time. These guys right here can't do anything. And look at, shame on you for working for Haiti. Shame on you. Shame on you. What do you think about Goggins? What about Goggins? The Goggins, they, they're talking about how she uses her office to exact, to go after her political enemies. Are you proud of that? Is something you're proud of? You're proud of that? Or are you just trying to climb the ladder in your career? Because she's shameful. This lady right here is shameful. She's corrupt. So you right there, you are tied to her corruption. You saw the LA Times article, and there's multiple LA Times articles. So if it was just a frauditor saying that, I wouldn't believe him. But he is not lying. There are multiple LA Times articles. This one talks about how she searches through employees' emails, creating a climate of fear, the staff is alleging. This one talks about how there's ethical violations. And yeah, basically, there's a lot of controversy around this woman. And like I've said in previous videos, sometimes frauditors have 
a good mission on paper, but it's how they do it. That's the problem. There is absolutely nothing wrong with trying to uncover corruption or bad apples in the government or police departments. But if you go in a post office to harass little old ladies, you're not really accomplishing anything. So in this case, I don't really have anything against what he's saying. It's just the venue and how he's doing it. Because right now, he's just repeating the same thing over and over and over to try to create a commotion. And there will be a commotion in just a moment. And you know what? They asked our office for comment. You know what she said? Nothing. And then you're going to ask me. The neighborhood guys try to ask me to stop. Like, I'm going to stop. There's no chance. You can get up there, you can give a little speech on that stage. I'm going to be louder than that microphone. There's nothing that's going to drown me out. Nothing. There's nothing you can do to stop it. You saw the LA Times article, you're not ashamed by that? You're not ashamed by the way she's using her office to go after her political enemies? You're not ashamed by that? You're not ashamed by what the LA Times says that she's drunk in office? You're not ashamed by that? You're not ashamed we just paid $300,000 to Ben Camacho for that ridiculous lawsuit trying to hide the police officers. And let's talk about how she's trying to weaken, she tried to weaken public, public records laws. If you don't want the na neighborhood council people, you don't want this disruption, don't fight Heidi here. Or matter of fact, why don't you guys ask the questions that I'm asking? You guys should be asking these questions, not me. You guys read the same LA Times article. Heidi, when you get on stage, they're never going to hear what you're going to have to say. I'm going to disrupt the whole time. You have some nerve with your corrupt ass. You are so corrupt. You get any? Why didn't you? Why didn't you comment to the LA Times? Why didn't you comment to Zanizer? Yeah, let's get out of here. Time to leave, guys. Pack it up. Why didn't you comment to Zanizer? Zanizer asked for comment about your corruption. You said nothing. You said nothing. Four six two, Heidi. Apparently the city is going to be crushing RVs on site on Cotter Avenue between Olympic and Santa Monica Boulevard next week. Reg 462 doesn't allow them to do that. So she's, viol it, she's yeah. violating the law again. Yeah, yeah, no. There's some, like, there's certain, uh, I'll have to go through the law, but the most they're allowed to do is tow it and they have to hold on to it for a certain time. So you're going to crush their cars, yeah. Heidi. You're going to crush their cars. As, what was your, what was the divorce settlement? Like $30 million? She got like many millions of dollars. And she's out here crushing homeless people's cars. Illegally crushing their cars. The Palm Neighborhood Council doesn't want this disruption. Don't invite a corrupt city attorney to your function. This lady's corrupt. Like, once again, why did you go to the LAPD and demand that they prosecute Richie Sergienko without any plot? And they were disgusted by it. They were disgusted. Your own office. What is her name? Goggins or McGoggins? The one that's suing you? They said that they were bothered by it and you you kicked them out of office. You took their computer and you said they can't even make contact anymore. So you invite these corrupt people to your functions and this is what's happening. This whole city's corrupt and everybody sits by doing nothing and just smile. There's no smiling while this corruption is going on. I, I, thank, I appreciate it. She needs to be addressed. Yeah, I think I'm going to fast forward to the confrontation because he's just saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Like I said before, this would have been really appropriate at a council meeting or he can do a petition. But what he's doing right now, he's just making himself look like a total degenerate. But let's take a look at the confrontation. Now, let me just say up front that the way the council member is going to act is ridiculous. If you're giving in to the frauditors that much, you're just making an ass out of yourself. And he was definitely in the wrong. But check this out. Just gonna look away, huh? I know she's causing you stress. It's causing your hair to thin on top. You know it. All this stress. Heidi, just keep on looking away. But well, once again, they ask you questions. You're a pussy. Get the fuck out of here, you little bitch. Get out of here, you little bitch. 
Hey, you're bro. a pussy. Hey, bro, counsel. You're a pussy. Okay. You're a little pussy. Oh, you you're a little bitch, no? No, no, no. Okay. I'm just not gonna let you walk the switch. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. That worked here. really well for you, didn't it? I should be on that train. Hey, Heidi, do you want to talk about your corruption yet? That late time for her. I wasn't me. That wasn't me. He did that. Yo, that it was, was you. Him. It was not. Yo, he's it assaulting was not. people. It was not. He's assaulting people. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's assaulting. So it looks like the frauditor accidentally or intentionally pushed a little old lady and she fell down because you can see that the councilman was in front of him and the old lady was behind him. So I think he's responsible for that. Luckily, it doesn't look like she got injured. Let's keep watching. Hey, can you arrest this guy over here, city attorney? Hey, city attorney, you knocked her down. Get out of here. Who are you? It's a public space. Get out of here. It's a public space. You're a piece of crap. All of that. Get out of, of here that. right now. All of that. Get out of here. You We're having an event. Idiot. We are Idiot. having an event. Idiot. 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 Get out of here! Look at that, you spit on me. You look very sane. You look very. This is a very sane person right there. Hey, let's talk about your corruption. Why aren't you get out of here? Get out of here! This is the Palm Neighborhood Council. Very sane people. Because he defends corruption. Let's talk about your corruption, Heidi. Do you want to talk about your corruption? Do you want to talk about your corruption, Heidi? Uh, the LA Times says you're corrupt, Heidi. The LA Times says you're corrupt. They said that you use your office to go after your political enemies. Why are you going after your political enemies? Dumbass, 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 dumbass. <laughs> he looks very good. He's a good representation for you. He's a very good representation of your town. Very good. And I'm your Los Angeles. Yeah, get out of here. You're corrupt. She's very corrupt. This lady right here is very corrupt. Woo! Your own office says you're corrupt. No, boo! 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 Heidi, boo! Boo, Heidi! Heidi, boo! Boo, Heidi! Heidi, come on now! Heidi! Heidi, boo, Heidi! Say thank you to Kyle. So she thanked this maniac. She thanked the maniac. Will she thank the media? This is Palm's oh, Neighborhood Council, a very so sane much. person. So Heidi, are, are you going? Are you ever? Burn. Are you ever going to address your corruption? Are you ever going to address your corruption? Up, oh, gotta get out of here. Time to leave. Pack it up. Go have your drink. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's one of those rare videos where I think almost everybody is in the wrong. Not only the frauditor. That woman seems to have a very bad track record when it comes to her work and integrity. That guy cannot control his emotions. The council member, I get it that he was berating her for like over 20 minutes. But at the same time, you do have to show and maintain composure. And the frauditor is obviously in the wrong because he's just acting like an asshole. And I don't think this is the right venue to do it. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I thought it was a hilarious video and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. I mean, I was watching it with Nicole last night and it just made me laugh so much. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to try out Aura for free today by using my link available in the pinned comment and I'll see you guys on the next video.